So our main source of drinking water in Portland is the Bull Run Watershed, which is 26 miles east of here. Uh, it's in the foothills of Mount Hood, and we protect that water source by keeping people out. So it's federally protected. There's no sources of pollution in that watershed, and that's how we keep that clean. Our groundwater supply is right here in town. It's along the Columbia River in northeast Portland, Gresham, and Fairview between I-84 and the river and basically Portland International Airport and Troutdale. We have hundreds of thousands of people who live, work, and play in the watershed, and it includes the well field for Portland Water Bureau. And so we like working with our agency partners to help residents and people who work there to learn more about the place, and that includes the groundwater underneath our feet. We have to protect that resource through education and pollution prevention, and that's part of what Groundwater 101 is. It's how we educate the people who live and work around that water supply about its importance uh, and what they can do to manage hazardous materials safely to keep that drinking water supply clean. What's going to happen is as we pull the water in, the minerals are going to react with this reagent and this solution is going to change color and it'll tell us whether there's a lot or a little mineral content in the water. So we'll start with this guy right here and see how we do. And I want to go until I get a color change to pink and look at that right away. One of the cool things about Groundwater 101 is, uh, you know, it's not just people talking at you for an hour or two. Uh, we do do some of that because we want to get some information across, but we also give folks a chance to experience groundwater to the extent we can for something that's buried a few hundred feet underground. And I'm going to test sample number two. Let's see where we get. Oh, that one's purple. No pink yet. Let's keep going. Still purple. Still purple, so no color change on this one. And so what that tells us is this one right away changed pink. And that means there is a lot of mineral content in there, if we can see that. So that tells us we've got about 200 parts per million of hardness, and we'd call that very hard water. And that tells us something about where the water came from. So what that likely means is this water was in contact with a lot of rock and probably a lot of sedimentary rock stuff that has lots of calcium in it. And in fact, this is Avion. This is spring water. So this comes from limestone and it has lots of calcium and other stuff in it. Uh, this handy diagram is what we would see if we could magically take a glass elevator down underground in our well field. We would go past these layers. Obviously it's a, it's a little more complicated than this, but this is how it works as far as the water supply is concerned. So anything that might spill or come down into this upper unit will stop here and it won't proceed and get into this Troutdale sandstone aquifer. So this is one of the ones we use for drinking water supply. We have a deeper, larger regional aquifer called the sand and gravel aquifer we also get drinking water from and we get most of it from this one. Our groundwater resource, uh, it's out of sight and it can be out of mind and Groundwater 101 is one of the ways that we're working to reverse that. This is a, a critical drinking water resource for the region, just like Bull Run, uh, and we want to make sure it's protected for future generations to the same level.